Hello, it's Sarah. I have a share. Mm, a little bit of a haul. It's a what I've been up to type thing. Because I've been crafting, you guys. I First, it all started with the sugar skulls. Remember, I think that was my last video. Then Joe printed up some littler ones. These We have, we have a um, 3D printer. So he's been playing around with stuff and he see these. He prints me he printed me these blanks to do for Tracy Moreau's. Anyway, this is my last video. But then I he did some red ones, so I painted them black. And I started making like chakra ones and all types of stuff. So these are my little painted sugar skulls. These are this is a these two are shocker ones. These two are shocker ones. I don't think this is a shocker one. Chakra, right? Let me zoom in. Anyway, I love sugar skulls because of the color. Um, so I just started dotting and playing with these. These are the actual chakra ones. So it starts with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and purple or lavender. So I tried to kind of make these chakra-ish, and I just love them. This one looks cool though too. Like it has, it looks like fireworks at the top. I don't know. They're really, they were fun. So I was kind of obsessed with this, but then, you know what happens? I see something, and something catches my eye. And so on Pinterest, I don't know what it was, but I saw these little button flowers. I'm gonna go back up because I, you know how I. I will keep, stop zooming in and it'll get ugly. Um, I made myself my own little Valentine bouquet out of buttons. And I put them in this little uh, mason jar with a handle. It's like a salt and pepper shaker. And then I put, Shirley had, had given me, gifted me this bracelet that has sayings all around it, all about crafting and me. Thank you so much, Shirley. And I just was looking for something to put on the top of this and I just thought well that's what I'm gonna put and it's just a little decoration these are just loose beads that I had in my stash so these were basically all the pink and red buttons that I had so I but I wasn't done yet guys no 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 I started looking at button art and I saw these little guys look how cute um, little key ring button dolls right and of course I love my sugar skulls well this one I had these little smiley they're kind of like um emojis I guess they're not true emojis there's just a few faces on there but I made this little guy this one I actually did the Nina Ribena tutorial so I'm gonna let you guys I'll put the link in the description because she does a really quick easy tutorial for these little button dolls. And these are just e-beads, I think they're called, glass e-beads. Um, it doesn't say, they're, that's not even the right kind. You know, these these ones, they're a little bigger than, they're seed beads, but they're like the bigger seed beads. But anyway, she said she was using, um, what are they? They're those little kid pony beads. And I didn't have any pony beads, so I just started using what I had. And these worked out fine. And I happened to have the, actually I did go out and buy more, but I had the, I guess it's 28 gauge wire, but I have so much wire. Like I really am trying to use what I have. Um, so I just went nuts. But I, of course, I love sugar skulls. So I made some sugar skull ones, pink, purple, and white. Look at this guy. I mean, they're so cute, and I'm sure you crafty people could figure out other things to do with them. Um, there's this little guy with brown buttons. I just had gold wire and gold things, so I put little gold beads on the end. Anywho, so I made them, but wait, that's not all. <laughs> I then, I had made this a while back. I might have shared it, I don't know, but I wasn't thrilled with it. It didn't really do for me what I was hoping to do. And it's basically just wood pieces that I covered with beads. So this is all a bunch of red beads and I don't even remember what kind of glue I used. Um, and 
I just did the wings and that and I, it was all right you know I mean I think it could be part of another project like as part of something but as a standalone I didn't love it but look what I just made today this is my little piggy isn't he adorable it's when pigs fly so the wing was um this isn't even dry yet the wing was from what is her name I can't think of her name. She makes the um, the art doll stamps, the big stamps. Ugh, I can't think of her name. But this wing was from that. So, Because I, I have so much stuff, you guys. That's why I keep saying use what you have. Um, you don't need what I have to make something. You can finagle it and make it your own um, by using what's in your stash. And it'll come out even better or different, you know. Um, so I just glued the wing on and I paint I did paint the pig like a pink mixed with beige I think and the wing I painted like white with I think I used um, pearlescent paint which I wasn't too sure if the glue would stick but I used um, weld bond and this this is really good glue this is what I used to glue my um, glass mosaics with and it holds it's very strong so I uh, made a little piggy and look like I made this button look like his nose and this one for an eye and then I just used random buttons and tried to when I'm looking at it it looks pretty good on camera these aren't showing up as much and I you know I try to whenever I do mosaics I try to vary the colors and make it interesting so that your eye travels around the piece so you need to have dark all throughout so it you know anywho um i used filler for filler i used a few of these e beads whatever they're called and i used um these guys these little seed beads or these are glass seed beads yeah 11 slash zero so they're super tiny and i just use glossy accents and I squirt it in there just like I do with my mixed media mosaics that I do with um, polymer clay and I just I filled in any little gaps that I thought were just a little too bare um, with either these or the little um, pony but they're not pony beads but you know anywho I love it though I think it turned out super cute and then I was thinking and I did the same thing with the wing I only used white buttons and then I used the um, these things these are called hexagon glass beads and these are all in your bead section and these were actually I did do some shopping I probably spent a hundred bucks you guys because the next project I'm gonna do and I'm gonna leave this actually I'll zoom up but I'll leave him in the shot for now is a sugar skull so I have these sugar skulls I've shared these before these are about 12 by like seven or eight and I have these canvases in my stash I did not buy these these were from when I was doing the dot painting um, I did a big um, what is it called like a, a, a dream catcher that's in my other room so I had these and I'm gonna I'm opening it right now because I'm gonna show you. Maybe I'll do this on camera. Although it's very, it's kind of it's a little fussy when you're um when I create the mosaic because um and you know what I was thinking of doing? I could put him on a canvas too and put clouds around and maybe like when pigs fly or something. Wouldn't that be cute? OMG. He's just too cute. I And that wood, I have had that pig in my stash forever. I thought I was going to wood burn it. But then it just, because um, you know what I do? I go on Pinterest. And if you go on Pinterest, all of a sudden, like I think I put in, um, what did I put in? Uh, button art, probably. Let me see if I can. Yeah. So if you put in button art. So look, like there's a moon and a sun. Oh, those are ornaments, Christmas trees and snowmen, snow, snowmen, a Christmas tree. Look at the owl. 
stop it it's too cute and it's just a basic shape like I could draw that any you know so I mean I I like went nuts look at this tree oh my god I love it like I don't know what you can like these look like all gold beads for a Christmas tree um, this is the bouquets so see I saw them first look that's just a little simple bouquet with a um, spool of thread <coughs> this is just like a great make and take if you guys if you just want to get together and craft a little bit party favors but wait I want to get to the like the actual look there's a cross with just white buttons and pearls and so I'll show you what I got um, so then I saw the sugar skulls and I love sugar skulls um, like I said I mean I've I've made them um, oh look at the apple come on I can't oh, I can't and there's a heart so it started with Valentine's Day and I had pink and red buttons and that's why I made myself my little bouquet my Valentine to me but then, and you know what I'm nervous about? Should I seal this first? I don't know because what I'm thinking is if I seal it, I, I'll be able to wipe it off. Like if I get anything on it, it'll seal it. Because it's just, I don't know what they base coat it with, the black. But I, my idea was I'm going to center this. Let me move this paper. Um, center it on the canvas and my camera is actually going to end up being too far away or too close I think for me to do this on camera I don't know um, I'm going to take my chalk pencil and just gently use this as a template um, I think I'm gonna I'll wing the mouth I was never crazy about the way well the teeth might be kind of neat but buttons are uh, the teeth are square on this so I think I'll leave it um, Because I know how to make um, a mouth so you can kind of see that right and then what you do is so let me show you what I got too I went and got some buttons now <clears throat> you know how I say use what you have please don't think in any way this video is saying you need to buy anything and I would never I don't want to tell you that but I got this big bag of white buttons for my sugar skull but wait, that's not all. I had some white buttons, but I got these. So it's this is like a mix of a lot of different buttons. This was kind of mine. So there's silver ones in there. All types of white buttons. This is my pink ones that I bought that I just did my piggy with. I think they were the same as them. I bought this okay these look at this these are just little um, flatbacks but they're um, faceted and they're they're just plastic they're not glass or anything I don't think but I can make designs with them I also got these faceted gems and these are a B they have Aurora Borealis on them so I can use them I got oops there's some more pink pink buttons. That's probably what I was using to fill the holes with my um uh on my piggy. This is gonna be to fill, so this is um and I made this out of um other seed beads that I had. So I just went through my stash and I found like any little seed beads that I had, filler, these are all I I'm not gonna be using these. I kind of put these I think I made one of my sugar skull arms with this. Yeah, this one. Kind of made them a little browner. Anywho, so 
And it took me a while because I re kind of reorged my room and I didn't know where any of my bead stuff was because I don't I never had that many. Not my bead stuff, my buttons. And then um, I had hadn't used the I kind of put these away too. Anywho, this was from Joann's today. They were by Hildy and Joe because they're 60% off. These are faceted gems that I'm gonna make like say colors around his eyes or something like that like make flowers so these are just other um, flat backs pearlescent a b these have like little um cracks almost looking things so they look a little more gray but i feel like i can make a design um more uh i don't know what what started me with this kind of a tealy blue color but anyway flat back flowers and these all came in um, something that I got from Amazon I got this from Amazon this is super cute this is a uh, craft supply I don't know I think probably from China and I'm sure we could make these with our um, the molds in polymer clay but they're just all pink in the pink family and I didn't even use them for my um, but I am going to use these in projects, uh, in these mosaics. So look at this little owl. He can kind of be my inspiration for my... Look how cute. OMG. And there's little... Everything. You can... F anything. There's butterflies and uh, ice cream and flowers and lollipops and strawberries. Look, this is a freaking strawberry. Anywho. So I ordered this from Amazon. I ordered, like two a pink bead a white bead <clears throat> and some of these um <clears throat> these type of things <clears throat> just flat back this stuff and this this was all in the same thing as that um wooden beads i ordered two i ordered these wooden beads wood because i thought an owl would look really good with wooden beads I don't know why and I couldn't resist them because some of them have like mandalas on them they're just super cool um, what else I just got these at Joann's because they have big and you could use a 50% off coupon um, so that was basically all I bought lately um, and these so I just figured I'm gonna use these um, as the design on my little sugar skull. So anywho, I mean, just think of it. Look, this is crazy. Ready? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something. What should I do? Where's my white beads? I'm just gonna open this and put a few on here so you can get an idea. I guess I could make quite a few sugar skulls <laughs> but all you have to do is cover it and of course I would put the most spectacular beads I won't put all of the beads you know I will pull from my most spectacular and make a sugar skull and then I would fill in with these guys I'll fill in with these guys it's going to be amazing, all right? So I will be back. Um, I kind of want to get started tonight. I might lay things out to kind of see where it takes me and see what kind of... Um, see, because when I did the wing, I used all pearlescent um, buttons. So I didn't use any, like opaque or whatever like on here there's opaque ones there's pearlescent there's all different kinds there's ones with words and patterns this one has like polka dots a flower um a few of those like pearl eyes there's a bow a flower and another flower as filler like whatever fit in there but any and there's a star um <clears throat> so yeah so like say I open this. Oh, oh. And so 
see there's a few. I don't I don't think I'll use the purple, but man, I am into purple lately, you guys. So I could just put like maybe a couple teeth down here. These kind of look teethy. I don't know why you would have blue teeth. I really wish I had these in white. That would be perfect. But you know, you could take the blue and I could just use the blue and go all the way around his eye. So I would probably, I think what's going to happen is I would do my main decorative pieces. Like if I want to add any color, where am I going to put the color? And then come back in and fill with the white. But like, why not make a purple nose? I don't know. I had pulled all of the, um, like that kind of looks cool. I mean, I'm just saying. I had pulled all of these like oceany colors. So we'll see what happens. But I just wanted to share a little play with you guys and let you know what I've been up to. I've been crafting and um, these little dolls are super easy. Um, and Nina Rabina, I will put the link in the description box because she does a great tutorial. And like I said, I just basically um, changed sizes of beads because she said pony beads and I don't have any pony beads and so and it just didn't seem in perspective or proportion to what I was doing so I went with what I had but the the way she wired it it's exactly the same I did everything else the same as she did it so I will do that and then these little tutorials the the um the flowers are super easy if you wanted to make some button flowers. Um, yeah, super easy. So, uh, this is very cool, you guys. Um, so, see? And then, oops, let me zoom back up. But then, I could... Um, I would fill in with buttons. I'm gonna make them smile. Yay! Um, and you could do a different color. One eye, one color, one eye, the other color. I have, look, I could put a flower in here with, I don't know, I could make a flower with like a big circle thing and then make a purple flower. So I would just have to play around and really, um, like I said, I would make the details first and then just fill in with the, with the white. And I may make more than one of these, that's for sure, because I have enough buttons now to last me forever. But he's already looking cute. All right, you guys. Um, I don't know how it'll be on canvas, too, because it kind of has give behind it, so I might have to put something underneath to give it some, um, like just a block of wood or something so that I can uh, work better. But I wanted to show you my piggy. Isn't he so cute? Oh, there's still a little stuff falling off of him. That's it. And don't forget the sugar skulls, a little pink sugar skull to go with my little pink piggy. Alright you guys, thanks for watching.